Hello students. In this video, I am going to talk about transcription. Transcription is the process by which RNA is synthesized from DNA molecule. As we all know that DNA is double stranded and RNA is single stranded. So it is obvious that out of the two strands of DNA, only one will participate in the process of transcription. Suppose this is a double stranded DNA. Now, out of these two strands, this is the 5 prime to 3 prime and 3 prime to 5 prime. Out of these two strands, only one will part participate in transcription process. Suppose this 3 prime to 5 prime strand participate in this process. So this strand will be known as template strand. Template strand. And the strand that will remain silent or do not participate in the process known as anti-template anti-template or non-template non-template strand. This strand also known as anti-sense strand now rna will be synthesized from or rather rna will be synthesized only from 5 prime to 3 prime direction and it will be synthesized upon the 3 prime to 5 prime template strand now which strand will be transcribed that depends on the um, position of promoter and terminator now what are promoters and terminators promoters are the site where transcription initiates let me draw suppose this is the region this region is the promoter this region is a promoter and This one is the terminator. Promoter is the site where RNA polymerase binds and transcription initiates and terminator is the site where transcription terminates. Now, there are special sequences present in the promoter region which helps in, uh, in the recognition of RNA polymerase. You know RNA polymerase will come and uh, with, the, with that particular sequence it will identify the region and will bind there. So uh, this region where transcription uh, will uh, occur, this region is known as gene or you may call it transcription unit. Okay. So this portion is known as transcription unit or gene and the upstream of the gene this region is called upstream and this side is known as downstream so the upstream region of gene is known as promoter and the downstream region is known as terminator so in the promoter there are specific sequences one sequence is present in the minus 10 region suppose this is the first nucleotide which will participate in transcription transcription so this is the plus one nucleotide as we go this side the nucleotides will be numbered plus two plus three plus four plus five and so on and on this side the nucleotides will be numbered as minus one minus two minus three and so on suppose this is the minus 10 region this is the minus 10 region here a specific sequence is present six nucleotide long specific sequence uh, the sequence is T A T A A T Tata at which is present in the minus 10 region downstream from the transcription initiation point or present in the promoter region and the sequence is present on the uh, anti template strand okay here the midpoint is uh, taken as minus 10 suppose it is present from minus 8 to minus 13 or minus 7 to minus 12 like that 
so this sequence is known as tata box tata box or also known as pribno box after the name of its discoverer david pribno okay david pribno discovered this uh, sequence that's why it is named pribno box and another sequence is present in the minus 35 region this sequence is t t g a c a this is also present in the anti template or non template strand this six nucleotide long sequence is known as recognition sequence uh, the uh, sigma factor of rna polymerase recognizes this sequence first and uh, binds here so this is the recognition sequence okay so the minus 10 sequence is tata box or pribno box and the minus 35 sequence is recognition sequence now um, we all know the process of replication and we have seen that uh, there are um, many proteins uh, which are required in the process of replication which is a complex process but in case of transcription only one protein is sufficient uh, to uh, to do uh, do the work which is um, rna polymerase okay so uh, the transcription process is very much easy um, as compared to replication um, in eukaryotes in eukaryotes there are three types of polymerases rna pol1 rna pol2 and rna pol3 rna pol1 helps in the transcription of ribosomal rna rna pol2 helps in the transcription of messenger rna and pol3 helps in the transcription of transfer rna but in prokaryotes but in prokaryotes only one rna polymerase is present which transcribes all the different species of ribonucleic acid or rna okay and the rna polymerase of prokaryote composed of six subunits this is very important we have to know this the six subunits are 2 alpha 1 beta 1 beta prime 1 omega and 1 sigma okay so rna polymerase of prokaryote contains six subunit 2 alpha 1 beta 1 beta prime omega and sigma suppose this is the omega 1 alpha second alpha beta beta prime these five subunits together is called the the core subunit or core enzyme you can call it core enzyme when the five subunits are present it is known as core enzyme when sigma subunit added to it then the structure is like this this is the sigma this is the omega beta beta prime sorry beta prime and two alphas so this complete structure is known as hollow enzyme okay out of the six subunits sigma subunit is most important because it recognizes the recognition sequence so that rna polymerase only bind in this region okay so sigma is the most important subunit of rna polymerase of prokaryote now let's uh, come to the process the process accomplishes in three steps transcription process accomplishes in three steps number 1 initiation of transcription initiation of transcription number 2 elongation elongation of transcription and number 3 termination of transcription okay let's now begin initiation so initiation is the process or initiation is the step uh, which involves the 
um, binding of RNA polymerase and beginning of the RNA chain synthesis. First, what happens? Uh, RNA polymerase come and it binds with the uh, recognition sequence first. Okay, so from now onwards, I will draw RNA polymerase like this. Suppose this is the core enzyme and this one is the sigma subunit. Okay, so this is the core enzyme and this is the sigma subunit. So together it is hollow enzyme. First what happens hollow enzyme comes and recognize the recognition sequence and binds here. It is a large structure. So it looks like this. Okay. First the hollow enzyme binds loosely with the recognition sequence or minus 35 sequence. So uh, at this point, you know, the DNA uh, do not get separated. So this complex is known as closed promoter complex. Closed promoter complex. Now what happens then the hollow enzyme binds more tightly with the minus 10 sequence or Tata box and the DNA separation now begins. So the figure will be like this, just a second. So the figure will be like this. This is the separated region of DNA. Okay, suppose this is the plus one nucleotide from where transcription will, uh, will initiate. Okay, uh, this is the hollow enzyme. Okay, hydrogen bonds are present in these regions. These are not separated yet. Five prime to three prime, and this is the three prime to five prime. Okay. So now DNA has been opened. So this complex is known as open promoter complex. Okay. So RNA polymerase uh, is responsible for breakdown of hydrogen bonds between the opposing strands of DNA. So helicase property uh, must, must be there. Okay. Now initiation is going on. So here complementary nucleotide will come for plus two nucleotide another nucleotide will come and phosphodiester bond, bond will be formed between them and the RNA transcript will be elongated. So this is the five prime end of the RNA transcript and this is the three prime end. RNA transcript will always grow in five from five prime to three prime direction. So this is the five prime and this is the three prime. Okay. So this process will uh, continue further until the RNA transcript is along uh, is almost nine to 10 nucleotides long. Okay. When the RNA transcript is 9 to 10 nucleotides long then what happens then this sigma subunit you know detached from the hollow enzyme so this sigma subunit released from the hollow enzyme this is the sigma subunit so only core enzyme is present here so a conformational change occurred in the structure of RNA polymerase. Now RNA polymerase uh, gets the ability to move along the DNA template and it starts moving from uh, this initiation site, initiation, initiation point towards the terminator region. So the figure will be like this. as 
RNA polymerase is going forward. So the transcription bubble will also move forward. This separated portion is the transcription bubble, right? This is the transcription bubble. Now RNA polymerase is here and previously opened portion of DNA now has been joined because of the complementary base pairs. Okay. And the RNA transcript is now lengthened. It is more long now and only the newly synthesized this is the 5 prime end of RNA transcript and this is the 3 prime. Only the newly synthesized 3 or 4, last 3 or 4 nucleotides remain attached with the template DNA. Okay. So, up to this portion is the initiation phase, RNA chain initiation. Now, as RNA polymerase is moving forward, so the RNA chain is elongated. So, this is the elongation phase. RNA polymerase will move further and, and RNA chain will be getting more longer. Okay. So this is that uh, elongation phase is going now. In the next video, uh, I will be discussing about the termination phase. Okay. Thank you.